Hey everybody, welcome to my new Let's Play of Ilo Milo. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, pretty much like every other one of my LPs, this one's kind of just on the whim. You know, I've already gotten about, you know, like, I'm almost done with the game on a different account. I just want to go through it all the way newly on this one. But to start off, there's kind of an odd achievement you can get on the title screen right here. So let's see if I can do that really fast. Uh, just hold on, I'll explain it in a second, I guess, but... Alright. There we go. Alright, so that achievement is called The Musician. Play the solo instrument to the music theme in the main menu. If you need help with that, that's pretty much what you have to do. Just uh, watch this a couple times to get that. I already completed a level because uh, I played through the the uh, <laughs> the trial version of it first and I bought it right afterwards, which is really rare. And uh, it gave me that automatically. So that's just by beating a level. But there is that first achievement. Pretty easy and I really love the music in this game. So let's get started. The first adventure. This is pretty interesting. Kind of brings back nostalgia of various games in the past, but once upon a time there were two friends, one red and one blue, that lived on each side of the park. The red's friend <laughs> the red friend's name was Ilo. And the blue friend's name was Milo. Go figure. Every morning they would meet by the tree in the middle of the park to drink apple tea and munch on maple f maple leaf flavored biscuits. <laughs> At nights they would head back to their homes to meet the next day. But meeting in the mornings was harder than one might think because every day it seemed that someone rearranged the park in all its roads and trees. And maybe it was just Ilo and Milo's memory that weren't all that good. Anyway, as one can understand, that made Ilo and Milo's friendship somewhat complicated. You don't think they could have just, like, met somewhere else a bit more convenient? Alright. So, you can get Ilo and Milo as pets for your avatar. Yes, you can have them as pets. You can get Ilo and Milo a t-shirt if you complete three levels. You get Ilo and Milo if you connect enough memory fragments to unlock a full memory. So, let's go ahead and start up the prologue meetup. Sebastian once spent all his savings to buy the world's largest garlic. That was several years ago, and he is still making garlic juice from it. Kind of interesting little character there. He's like our little, our helper, our tinkle, our tinkle, our tingle, or whatever you want to call it. Navi. I don't know. Anyway, this is your character. This is Milo. If you press the X button, you can control uh, Milo. And the goal of each of these levels is to meet each of these characters together. Now, you're, you can get leaderboard scores by... Uh, taking less the less cubes you step on the higher on the leaderboards you'll get so you want to get there as fast as you well not not as fast i guess but just as li little space as possible and the only thing i have against this game really is the controlling isn't really as good as it could be it's not really fluid like you can like press left or right to turn but you have to like press it again to keep going it's interesting so if we step on this little house little sebastian guy is gonna pop out whoa Salutations! Who is this marvelous gentleman with an incredible sense for fashion that stands before you? Why, it's Sebastian, of course. Listen well to my words and you will go far. Want to reach your friend on the other side? Here, let me give you a piece of advice. Why don't you grab that great dog creature over there and use it to get past that gap? Yes, those are dogs and it looks like they're made out of, like, socks and underwear and stuff. Should you find another of my houses such as the one you're standing on now, step onto it and I will arrive as a knight in shining armor and give you some of my fantastic advice. For well, for now. Thumb creature. Yes, we are thumb creatures, appears. Alright, so let's go head over here. You press A to pick this guy up, and you can only carry one of these at a time. As you can see, he's on my back, so we're going to go ahead and put on this gap, which we couldn't go otherwise. Uh, press A to get him again here. We're going to just jump on him. Well, I say, why don't you step on the button over there and give your friend on the other side a lift? Hmm? Yes, that is the most excellent idea. Alright, so 
You press X to switch characters, like I said. You want to, if you s jump on those things, those things will launch you, as you can see. You want to step on this thing right now and step on this button so that you will send us across, so we could reunite with our dear Ilo and just meet them together, and that's how you beat a level. Very easy. Well, this one's very easy. They get pretty tough later on. I'm not gonna lie. So there, you should get an achievement right there, which I already unlocked because I did the uh, the trial, like I said. So let's continue on to this level. <sighs> Sebastian's flying creature does not respond to a name. He must whistle three short signals through his left nostril to summon it. Sebastian is allergic to many things, such as garlic. This procedure can get quite messy. I don't understand how he could make garlic juice but be allergic to it. Never mind, that's dumb. Anyway, as you can see, there's nothing we can do here quite yet. So let's go ahead and switch over to uh, Ilo, Milo. Blue is Milo, I think. Yeah, but anyway, press Y to find your character, or, no, but, you press B to find your character, and they'll just wave at each other, like, hey, this is where I am, okay, and you press Y to, like, kind of scope out the entire level. It's not really, you know, all that great, I mean, I guess it could help, but, go ahead and take this guy, oh, oops, okay, yeah, he was just going to explain the next thing. Use the red carpets to go to another side of the cube. Gravity is such a boring concept anyway, we know this. If you see this thing, oh, look, we can move, like, different things. Alright, so head over here. Um, let's talk to him, see what he says. Your friend seems to be stuck up there. What a pity. Why don't you paste the cube on the spot I've marked out? That should do wonders. Alright, let's do that. So, you can head over here, grab the dog, put it right here. Oops. Put it right here. Press X to launch him over here. And then we want to go take this back. Let's see where he leads us. The camera is kind of confusing in this. I don't really like it. Like, if I just, like, tap, uh, you control the camera with the right uh, thumbstick, I guess, but I'm just gonna tap it left, and it like goes off, and it goes off by itself. You can't really adjust it really all that freely. It's kind of unfortunate, but head over here. Oh, we're actually, we're already here. I didn't have to pick it up at all. <laughs> well, just to move it, I guess, but whatever. <sighs> all right, switch. All right, work together. Let's do this. The stretching cube's ability to extend was developed under a period of 1,000 years for it to be able to reach its coat on the hanger before leaving the house. Yes. It's a new kind of cube we're going to be picking up here. We're going to have it explained to us right over here by Mr. Sebastian. Yes, we've seen this animation before. Fret not, for the great and bold Sebastian is back to give you his advice. Do you feel the smell, by the way? It's the smell of the new frog egg deodorant. Delightful, isn't it? Sticky as it may sound, this miserable keycher will extend when you place it down. That doesn't sound incredibly suggestive. Try placing it on that gap over there to form a bridge over to the other side. If you place it on the ground, it will extend upwards. Yeah, that's totally not for not children. <laughs> but if you place it in the gap, it will extend forward. Easy as butter cake. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to make any jokes about that. And with those words of wisdom, I'll leave you for now. You are probably amazed impressed by my fantastic knowledge and by my majestic biceps, of course. Yeah, you know it, just because... Look, he does not even have anything, and his eyes are being covered by his... <laughs> his eyes are being covered by his eyelids. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go pick this guy up. And look, we have the thing to make us go across here. And then... uh. We'll pick that up, and then we'll place it right over here so we could give it to Mr. Him, and he can pick it up and put it that way. And then we want to grab this, and uh, this button is going to make that switch over there, move that uh, block out of the way so we can go ahead and walk to the other side. All right, come on. It kind of lags after you step on a button for whatever reason. Well, not really lag. It just delays, but make sure you pick that up so you don't have to make an extra trip head over here, place it down here, and reunite with your friend. Yay. Alright, work together. Alright, and carpets. 211 years ago, the cubes had enough had had enough of being moved around and used this tool. They started to become barbers that specialized in mustache grooming. They soon figured out that the facial styling without arms was quite difficult. Whatever. Alright. They reuse a lot of the loading screens, so... The cube over there has a vile creature in it that will block your way. Remember, it can only block one side of at a time, so see if you can outsmart it. Alright, now this is kind of one of the more interesting gameplay mechanics. When you're within one cube of that box right here, he will pop up and he will block your way. So, let's go ahead and switch over to Milo. No. Yes, Milo. Okay. I'm going to head over here, turn over here, so that 
You see, like, if we were over here, just me like that, he'll block him that way, but we can still talk to him anyway. Yay! Hey, you're not allowed to be a part of this reunion. You've only been here for one level. It's not very fair. And we've completed the prologue! We got the student completed the tutorial. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, chapter one. Okay, so for each of these, um puzzles we complete we'll be able to unlock a next one i'll just finish this one i think we have a bit more time curly branches have you found the ultra deluxe system yet there were only two games produced for it ilo milo shuffle and the huntsman and the fox besides playing games the ultra deluxe system could also be used as a waffle iron very nice all right so now we've got these little neat little things remind me of arts and crafts a lot in school we want to pick these up so we could regain memory those are our memory uh meter i guess once we get all those we'll uh, earn a fragment of memory. We want to pick up those uh, shapkas, I think is what they're called. We're going to pick up all three in each level. Whoops. I'm not making very good progress on my leaderboard skills right now. I'm going to go pick this up and put it right over here. Pick him up. And now we've got the first one. Alright, now we're going to want to get Milo some action. Head up here. Pick up the second one. Um, if you want to replay levels, uh, each one of the little shafkas, I think is what they're called, they're going to have a, they're going to have a hat on them, so I'm going to be careful for this because you want to be able to go across. If you get within one square of your friend, then it'll end the level. Let's go ahead and just, we're going to pick up photographs. This is, uh, for gallery items. And, uh, here's a third shafka right there, one of each. They're very easy to obtain. Collect one. Safka. Safka. Not shafka. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then head over here, talk to your buddy. In later levels, there are going to be records you're going to want to pick up also. So there, keeps travel 63, 63 community, best score is 11. Jeez, that's really high, or like really beating that level with only 11 moves. So yeah, I'm not really going to be trying to like do super high scores. I'm going to mostly be trying to collect like all this stuff because you can beat a level without collecting all the little memory pieces or whatever. So anyway, continue. Curly branch is complete, and as you can see... When you complete a puzzle, the connected puzzles will unlock. Yes. So now we can go to any of these, and we have to get to the other side to continue to the next chapter. So next time on Ilo Milo, I guess we will continue on to this, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.